guys, it's me, Joy, and today I'm going to be making a double X rain balloon bracelet tutorial. This bracelet was requested by Alina LPS987. She didn't actually specify which bracelet she wanted me to do because she just said the rainbow one. And I actually have three rainbow bracelets, so I don't know which one she was talking about. I'm just going to assume she was talking about the double X bracelet, so that's the one I'm going to be doing a tutorial on today. So in case you guys didn't know what a double X bracelet looks like, this is what it looks like. Just like that. So we're going to get started. The first thing you want to do is you want to put your loom on the right setting. As you can see, this is not right because we want all of the pegs at the same length. So we're going to take the middle one out like so. And then we're just going to adjust it so that it's on the same row as all the other pegs or else your bracelet won't work if you just leave it like how you did it the last time on like a ladder bracelet or whatever. So we're going to get started now. You can use any colors you want whatsoever and I decided to use purple and orange today because I never use those colors. So first I'm just going to start off with the orange in the pattern. So we're going to start off by the bottom middle peg over here where the arrow is and go diagonally up. Then we're going to do the exact same thing, but on the right side. Diagonally up. It should look like this. Now we're going to do something similar to that, except from the bottom left one, diagonally up. Now we have one X there. Bottom right one, diagonally up. Now as you can see, that's a double X. This is why they call it a double X. You can see two X's there. And yeah. So now we're going to repeat the same process except with the purple now because we're following the pattern. Bottom middle, diagonally up. Bottom middle, diagonally up. Bottom left, diagonally up. And bottom right, diagonally up. I'm going to fast forward from here because we just repeat the same process all the way up to the end of the loom. So remember, from the bottom middle one, all the way to the left, to the right, bottom left, to the top, bottom right, to the top. And we're just going to repeat the same process all the way up the loom. Okay, so now that we're done and ready to hook, we're just going to turn our loom around. But before we do that, I just want to explain something to you guys that I forgot to say at the start. You always want to start with your arrow facing away from you, as you can see or else this whole bracelet is not going to work. There's a long story to it, but if you don't do it properly, you get to figure out the hard way. So we're just gonna turn our limb around and we're ready to hook. Okay guys, so starting from the very bottom, which is going to be purple, we're going to take this bottom left one and loop it forward up to the second middle one. And then we're gonna take the bottom right one, loop it in the same place we looped the left one. Now we're just going to push the bands down, you know. So now we're going to take this band over here, which is this one, and you can tell by just wiggling it a little, you want to make sure you get the right band. Loop it to its place, which is over here. Then we're going to take this one, and then loop it to its place, which is on this side. Now we're going to be looping the orange ones, so we're going to take this one, by the left, we're going to pull back the purple bands, like so, and we're going to take this orange one, loop it to its place, which is there, Then we're going to, sorry, having trouble pulling them back with this horrible angle. Now we're going to take this one and loop it to its place. Okay, so now we're doing the exact same thing, except there are a little more bands to get in the way. So we have to make sure they're the right bands. This one is this one because I'm tugging on it and you can see. Loop it there. And then we have to pull back all the bands. This one over here. I'm going to show you one more time before we fast forward. Just so I don't like confuse you guys. Like that. Like that. No, sorry. That. Like that. Okay, we'll fast forward from here. Okay, well, you guys know the drill I showed you, so just watch again if you're a little confused. So, 
Yep. That's how you do it. It's really simple, guys. It may look a little difficult, but then when you actually do it, it's pretty simple. Yes, it says made with the video star. I don't have a better editing software. Okay, now I'm just going to hook the last one so I can just kind of show you guys all at once how we're going to finish this bracelet. Okay, so now we're done and we're ready to take our bracelet off, but we need to do one thing before we do that. I like to use my hands for this. We're going to take these bands and put them in the middle, these bands, put them in the middle. So, I just use my hands because I feel like, I don't know, I get them all better. That. Now I'm going to take all these, like that. This is what it should look like. Now we're going to stick our hook through, like so. Okay, after we've stuck our hook through every single one of them, that's very important that you check if you got every one. You're going to take a band and place it on the hook. Sorry guys, awkward angle for me. Now what you're going to do, you're going to take this and you're going to bring it through all the bands with hooked onto it. Sorry. Okay, there. Like that. Now we're going to take it off and uh, hope for the best. So far it's good, guys. We want to take it off carefully, guys, because if it snaps, it means, like, it was good. But if it snaps, then it's all off, and then it's like, no, and then your whole bracelet's done. So just, you better be safe than sorry, you know what I mean? came off alive. So now we're basically done our bracelet. We just need to do the extension. So you can either do it without the loom or with a loom. I like to do it with the loom. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to take these bands that like attach it and then you're going to place it at the very bottom. This is for the extension guys. Like so. And then we're going to do a pattern and you can use as many extensions as you need. I need about nine because I have a big wrist, but it depends on who you are. You can kind of measure it out. I don't know. But if you have too many, you can always take some off. And if you don't have enough, you can always add them on after. You know, there's always a solution. That. And nine. <laughs> nine, and then I fail at nine. Sorry guys, nine. Now we're going to, from here, we're going to now turn around our loom and we're going to start hooking for the extension. So, it's going to be kind of harder than just hooking a single because it's like, uh, I don't know, it's messed up, it's like the wrong way, but it's how you're supposed to do it. Hold that down so it doesn't come off, that gets extra annoying. Oh, my hand is totally covering the whole thing. Sorry, guys. It's a really awkward angle for me because, like, I'm trying to be able to show this well. And then you're just going to continue down the loom. I'm just going to film at the very last one I'm going to hook. So we're just going to do this at the... Nah. Okay, sorry. We're just going to do this for the very last... One, which will be attached to two. Okay. There we go. And if this happens, don't worry, you can just fix it like that. Okay, now we're ready to pull it all off. Okay. I'll pull it off like this. Okay. Why isn't it attached? Gosh, like, OMG. Oh, I'm so stupid. I was supposed to put a C-clip. Sorry, guys. Okay, just remember this. 
that I messed up and I totally just dropped the C-clip. Sorry, guys. Um, so just remember this. You're supposed to have a C-clip here. Because I'm the dingo bob that forgot. She's just going to do that. I don't know why. Wait, guys. Why? If you watch my tutorial, you'll probably need a C-clip here. I don't know why. I just messed up this time because I haven't done this in a while and stuff. So, like, I kind of just, yeah. So now we're, we are going to need two C-clips for this, I guess. So we're just going to need to attach that on there. And then we need to attach that. Holy crap, why is this so hard? Um, And then we're going to need to attach it on here. And then we have our rainbow loom bracelet. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're done our bracelet. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And make sure to request some more tutorials down in the comments below. Bye!